You terrific travelers who's on board for another adventure on the rocky railway here we're discovering that jesus's power pulls us through even when life gets a little off track let's start by singing our theme song for the week stand up and let me hear you sing trust we trust in you jesus you're all you're all you're all that we need your power will pull us through we're trusting in you we're trusting in you you give us hope and life that's forever you make us bold and we stand together journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in
this week, we've learned that Jesus' power can help us do hard things, trust Jesus, and Jesus' power can give us hope, trust Jesus. Hey, that makes me think about the story we've been seeing about Cam and Maddie. I wonder if Cam was finally able to deliver his train load of m &Ms. I heard some great news this morning. Cam and the crew fix the tracks. Cam will finally be able to drive his train down the mountain and deliver all the M&Ms. Did I hear my name? Are you guys talking about me? Are you cheering for me? <laughs> we are. Aren't you excited to finally get your train down the mountain to make all the deliveries? Oh, yeah. Uh, totally. Can't wait. So excited. Look, a squirrel! Uh, Cam? Where'd you go? Why are you hiding? If you see the train conductor coming, can you tell him I went, um... Oh, just tell him I went to water my lawn. <laughs> Cam, I don't know why you're hiding, but you might as well come out and tell us about it. I'm pretty sure we'll figure out what's going on. You're right. Maybe I should wear a disguise. What do you think? <laughs> Unless you're disguising yourself as a tree, it's not going to work. Just tell us what's going on. Well, the conductor, I, I mean, the conductor pointed out that before we go down the mountain, <clears throat> I have to go up and over a really steep mountain. Now he's trying to find me so we can get rolling. You know, full steam ahead. I thought that's what you wanted to do, delivering the M&Ms and all. It is. It's just, I've never driven a train down such a steep mountain before. I've gone up little hills, on long flat plains, around crazy curvy bends, over tall bridges, but I'm nervous about going up and then down a steep mountain. Yeah, I mean, doing new things can take courage and boldness, but, and that's why I'm glad I don't have to do those things alone. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! You don't have to face it with your own power. You can trust that the one strong enough to make the mountain is strong enough to help you get over it. That sounds nice, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> and that's okay. We have some songs that might give you the boldness to tackle this new challenge. They'll remind you that Jesus' power helps you be bold. Trust Jesus! Okay, that might help a lot. I can't wait to hear these songs and remind me of Jesus' power. I'll go tell the conductor that I'm ready to go. Thanks, guys. We believe in you, Cam. Do you know that trains talk to each other? Well, they don't really talk, but they do communicate. Listen to the sound and see if you can guess what this train might be saying. Are you ready? <coughs> do you know? Three short blasts mean this train is backing up. Train whistles are big and bold because they have important messages to communicate. Sometimes God wants us to be bold too. Sometimes we have to stand up for what we believe. We have to say things that are unpopular. We need to share what we believe about Jesus 
even though not everyone else feels the same way. Being bold can be hard, but we're not in it alone. Today we'll see how Jesus' power can help us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus' power with a song called We Can Trust Him. Stand up. I hope you have a great time today with Bible Story and Imagination Station. Have fun! Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go! My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe, and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth or boldly talk about Jesus. 
The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. I'm so glad you're here again. It's time for our totally true story from the Bible. This week we're discovering how Jesus' power helps us to do many things. And today, Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. This story kicks off with someone who can't walk. This man had to sit in front of the temple gate every day because he couldn't walk. Now, for us, if we have a friend who can't walk, he probably would use a wheelchair. But back in Bible times, there were no wheelchairs. And so the only way for this man to get around was to have his friends carry him. Can you imagine that? So he wouldn't be able to do many things. They would carry him and put him in front of this gate and he would sit there all day as hoping that people might give him something. On that day in Jerusalem, something incredible happened though. Something incredibly bold. As the man sat there, Peter and John, two Christians, two of, of Jesus' disciples, they were happy, happening by, and they stopped right in front of the man. He held out his cup. He was hoping they would put something in. Peter looked him in the eye, and he said something really bold. I don't have any silver or gold to give you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. And what happened when Peter boldly said that? The man, he stood up, he jumped, he praised God. It was amazing, just like that, having been lame all his life, and now he could walk and jump. Boy, what a day. Everyone was amazed. So that miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered, and that's when the second incredibly bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and how Jesus had died for their sins. They told the crowd that they needed Jesus. And that made some people in the crowd angry. You see, not everyone was a fan of Jesus. Some people, include some of Jerusalem's leaders, thought Jesus was a liar. They thought people, Christians who talked about Jesus were liars. That makes me wonder something. Is it ever hard or not popular for you to talk about Jesus? Well, the leaders there got so mad at Peter and John that they had guards seize them and keep them in jail overnight. The leaders told Peter and John to quit talking about Jesus. Hmm, how are we feeling about being bold now? Peter and John had to make a decision, stay quiet and be safe, or keep talking about Jesus and get in a lot of trouble. Well, Peter and John, thought there were things about Jesus that people should know, and they boldly told the leaders, we can't obey you instead of Jesus. We're not gonna stop talking and telling people of what we've seen and heard. That's pretty bold. Their boldness was so big, and their message about Jesus was so powerful 
that the Bible tells us 5,000 men believed in Jesus that day, and that doesn't even include the women and children who did. That's amazing. So back to Peter and John, the angry leaders threatened them and told them, don't talk about Jesus anymore. And they let Peter and John go. Peter and John went back to their friends and told them what had happened. And do you know what their friends did? They prayed together, asking God for courage. I know we all need courage when it comes to being bold in what we believe. I'd like to pray for you. God knows what you need boldness in. Let's talk to God right now. Jesus, thank you for always being with us. It's comforting to know we're never alone. When we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you, when we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff, you're right beside us, giving us your strength, love, and boldness. We love you and thank you, and we pray in your name, amen. Thanks, kids. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to Imagination Station. My name's Melissa, and I'm so happy to see you again. I can't imagine all the cool discoveries that we're going to make today. But you know what comes first, right? I have to ask, did you bring your imagination today? I know some of you probably forgot again, but we're going to need lots of it today. So I had a chat with my friend Sierra. I think you met her, haven't you? The mountain lion? Well, Sierra told me something about amazing about herself and her mountain lion friends. Mountain lions like Sierra can jump 15 feet in the air. Let's try it. One, two, three. Did you hop? I didn't jump very high. Let's try again. One, two, three. Jump as high as you can. All right. We'll try one more time. One, two, three. Jump. I didn't jump 15 feet. Did you? I don't think we can without a trampoline. But Sierra and her mountain lion friends are so cool. That's how high they jump. I have another question for you about mountain lions. Which is stronger in a mountain lion? Does it have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? What do you think? Okay, let's get a drum roll for the answer. The answer is a mountain lion has a stronger sense of hearing. Very good if you got that one correct. Speaking of power, let's talk about the power that Jesus has to make us bold. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we may not feel very bold especially when it comes to sharing our faith in Jesus. You've probably heard the phrase, practice makes perfect, right? Well, we'll never be perfect, but practice can help us be bold. It's kind of like this. You take a little step, like praying at lunch at school. Maybe someone asks you why you do that, and you take the next little step, and that's saying that you're thanking God for your food. And then that makes you bold enough to take the next step, which is you're thanking God for sending Jesus, and so on and so on. Each step makes us a little bolder, and it makes it a little easier. It's just a matter of momentum. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Now, go get your supplies for day three. It's the one that looks like this. Now, it's time to introduce today's fun gizmo. This is a bold blaster. Let's see what happens when I drop it. Oh, that wasn't much fun. What a dud. Let's give it its power back. 
put that through. And let's try it again. Ready? Wow! That was so much more fun. That was bold. Did you see how high it jumped? That's like when we have Jesus in our lives. We can reach new heights. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Have fun playing. Try to make it as bold as possible. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for making this train journey in the Rockies rock. I'm looking forward to departing this depot with you tomorrow. As we say goodbye, let's sing this train is bound for glory, and we'll see you all tomorrow. This train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory, Jesus made a place in heaven for me, this train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory, this train, this train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train okay now let's bring it down this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory jesus made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train in heaven for me this train